Hey, what's with the French film bollocks? I never said you could change my art. I said you have a few friends over. Well, I wanted to create a sort of ambiance. Yeah. I wanted to host more of a salon. A salon? Yes, a place where my friends and I can talk about art right. and culture, philosophy, or politics. So you and the other struggling actresses are going to be sat around discussing Wittgenstein and, and North Korea? Yes, that might come up. That could come up? Yeah. Okay, wow. Oh, and the soundtrack for tonight will be jazz, I know. Oh, I love jazz. You love jazz? Yes. Name three key jazz musicians. <laughs> Miles Davis. Number one, yep. Lance Armstrong. The trumpet player, Lance Armstrong. Yes. Okay. And number three? The Loneliest Monk. The Loneliest Monk? Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Because I've heard of a guy called Thelonious Monk. You're not thinking of him. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. he's great. No, sure, mm -hmm. sure, sure, sure. He's great. You clearly he's are one. a jazz aficionado. My apologies. I am. I'm going to leave the price on so they know how much we've spent. No, we're not doing that again. Yes, I spent twelve ninety nine, woman. No, we're not doing that. Also, you better be on your best behavior tonight because this party is going to be filled with tastemakers and groundbreakers. Oh, wow. Are there going to be uh, trailblazers or trendsetters there? Okay, you are disinvited. Really? That's, mm -hmm. It happens yeah. that quickly? Yeah, it happens fast. Yeah. You know what, though? Seriously, don't, don't push it tonight. Don't try too hard. You don't need to teach me lessons, love, all right? I know how to charm gay people. I've got a lot of gay friends. Oh, you do? Yeah. Huh, name three. Andy? The guy you met at the club is your friend? I wouldn't say a good friend, but I certainly consider him a pal, yeah. Okay, uh, a second? I think my aunt uh, might be a lesbian. Your aunt? Yeah, she certainly dresses like one. Cool. And then a third one? The woman that my aunt's been living with for the last 20 years. Auntie Maureen. <laughs> Great. Stuart, why are you trying to be friends with them? You have to. Guys like this, working class dudes. If they smell that you're not one of them, they will fleece you. Really, and how exactly do you win them over? Easy. Just talk to them about stuff that they relate to, you know, like cars, you know, or shagging, football, whatever. Name three American football teams. <sighs> Miami Dolphins, Chicago Bulls, Detroit Tigers. Done. You just named a football team, a basketball team, and a baseball team. Well, how am I supposed to remember? I mean, every... Fucking American sports teams, just a bloody city and some arbitrary animals stuck together. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm a fan of the Chicago Squids. <laughs> what does it even mean? Hey. Hey. How'd it go with Kimberly? Got all the way to Malibu. She wasn't there. Oh. What's going on here? They're recasting me on NCIS. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. You want to talk about it? Not really. Well, I'll tell you what's happening in the big house. I'm planning on watching a film. Well, what are you going to watch? I don't know, what about uh, Con Air? Oh. Can you watch this, please? Ingmar Bergman. He's Seriously? Is he the best? Yeah. Okay, come on. Is there nudity in this? There's, yeah, actually, there's a lot. Is there? Yeah. No, I'm interested. No, that's not why you watch that. That's exactly film. why you watch it. No, it's not. That is one of Ingmar's best. One of Ingmar's, really? First name terms? Yeah. Yes. Name three Ingmar Bergman films. <laughs> That one. <laughs> right, yeah, of course, yeah. Well, I've been um, looking after uh, number one for two. One, you know, the one where death is playing chess. And it's right, seven that seven. Yes, seven 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 There's one that takes place in the summer. So I thought I better do something about it. Several. Yeah. But that one. And that's why I'm sitting here looking across the table at you. 